Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I'm going to show you uh, some this specific position shot and a few different variations of it. Uh, and I think it's very, very important to incorporate into your game if you want to be a better player. So let's imagine we're playing eight ball. So in eight ball, there's two different categories. You've got the stripes and you've got the solids. Now you make either all the stripes or all the solids, and then lastly you have to shoot the eight ball. So let's imagine we are solids. We have to shoot the two and then the eight right after. So we are dead straight. Uh, so the best angle we can really get on the eight ball is something like this. And this is a difficult shot to make. Exactly. You could miss the whole entire ball if you're right there. Uh, so trying to cut that in with a bunch of right spin might not be the best for you. So. You could also try to do a shot. So you could try to draw it and cheat the pocket enough. Uh, that may be a choice right there, but you see sometimes you can fall short. And then you're gonna have to end up shooting a shot like so. Probably not gonna work out for you. Best shot I could think of. Let me replace that two ball with a brighter ball. Here's this one. This right here is the best shot, in this case, in my opinion. Just like that. Now, look at our position on the eight ball. This is almost an unmissable shot. No way you can miss that one if you just made that. Uh, so, this is a mass A shot, and there's a few different elements that go into and there's a few different ways that you can do it. So you see that one we hit the rail first. Uh, this one we can not hit the rail and just have it come back just a little bit. Uh, the rail one works better but that is still a makeable shot even though the scratch is uh, on most definitely there. Uh, but the shot is more of a mass A shot. So you see if we shoot the same exact shot with a level cue, nothing will happen. So it's the elevation that causes it to curve like that. So even though we can make that shot, we don't want to shoot that. We would rather be when our cue ball is right here. Hopefully I've, I've redeemed myself for my missing the whole ball cut shot with that one. Uh, but it's actually that elevation on the cue. So the physics behind it, when we're shooting the cue ball into this one ball, we are hitting almost, we're hitting with about in the center of the cue ball, if not a little above, with right spin. So whatever direction we want our cue ball to go in, that's the, that's the spin. Uh, so our cue ball is spinning up and to the right and it bounces into this ball and then the up and to the right takes. I accidentally put left spin when I was spinning it. And it brings it over there for that eight ball. So it's like if I were to hit that ball on that side, you see how it comes back over here? It's the exact same thing. We're just hitting it on that side uh, after it makes contact, it's coming back towards the eight ball. So really, all you have to practice, the hardest part of this is making the shot because you're going to have to change your aim a little bit. So since we're aiming, since we're hitting really far on the right side of the cue ball, you see how the cue ball deflects to the left? This happens within the shot, just uh, not as exaggerated as that. So if you, I'm, I'm going to just show you what it will look like if you aim to actually make this ball and try that shot. It's going to look something like that. That's not pretty. See, our cue ball deflects off to the left because we are hitting on the right side of it. So you're going to have to aim more to the right. So you're going to have to aim to make the three ball like there instead of in the pocket. And still sometimes, see, it's going to take a little bit of uh, experimenting. It's also sometimes hard, especially with my pockets, I have these leather drop pockets. So this ball will most likely bounce out. I, I have to be pretty lucky if I'm going to make a shot like this. If this is like a diamond table, that ball will fall majority of the time. 
See, that was a perfect shot. Now look where we are on the eight. You, no way you can miss that one. If you're on a diamond table, no worries about that popping out. If it's like tough, tough leather in the back and it's bouncy, uh, it might bounce back right at you. Uh, but that is that version, that variation of that little Massé position shot. Okay, so this is a little uh, touchy shot right here. So let's say we're trying, say we're playing nine ball. So nine ball, you have to hit the lowest number ball on the table first, play position on the next lowest number, number ball. Let's say, I don't know, let's say we're on the three ball. Oops, my cue fell. Say we're on the three ball. And... We're trying to get position on the seven. But this is the situation. So, I mean, we're trying to get position on the five. That makes sense. We're trying to get position on the five after we make the three. Now, the only way we can get position on that ball is if we come up here perfectly uh, off of that rail, which can be done. Just sometimes you have the tendency to overrun it. We want to be more over here. Uh, he may be saying we'll just use some draw. But if we use draw, we're going to go right into the nine ball or not come out far enough. So to get more emphasis on that draw, very, very simple. All you need to do, elevate the cue. Bam. Uh, this shot is pretty similar to the last one. Uh, you only really need it. You won't really, you won't shoot this one too often. I Okay, so this one relates to this shot just a little bit. Uh, it's, it's very helpful in times where you need it. So let's say you're playing nine ball again. So we want to make the two afterwards. We want to play the two ball after the one. This is the angle we have. So we cannot go forward without cannoning into those balls. And then we have only a bank shot left, or a carom on the nine, if you think about it. Uh, that would suck if that happened during a game. Uh, but we're going to put that all back. There is one position shot that you can do in order to land correctly on this side of the two ball. And it's just elevating the back of the cue and hitting below center. Just like that. So you see how we're able to jump over those balls? And now we've got this perfect shot on the two. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the four ball. Uh, I'll try this. It's a bit crazy, but yeah. Uh, but you see, you get you get the shot. Uh, making that little jump shot, all it requires is just elevated back of the cue, a little bit of backspin. Then you are 100% able to make that little jump position. 
Okay, so that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a brand new video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you share the channel with your friends. And I will see you in the next video.